Hi everybody, welcome to Mega Wednesday. We got an extra special night tonight. By that I mean it is No Show's birthday. So, you know, I'm here joined by uh, our new intern, a Alex. Yes. Yeah. Hi, I sorry, I didn't know if I was supposed to speak. Yeah, I'm the intern Alex. And and, and we got games for you guys. <laughs> First we're starting off with uh, Meso Perch. Then we got Easy Money after that. Followed up by Jackpot Jungle. Blingo Bingo, and then ending it with Fishing Derby, everybody's favorite. So, that's right. And it looks like, so for Fishing Derby, we have a large mouth jackpot of over $1,000. So that's swimming out there in the lake. And the small mouth jackpot is at $221. So, oh, wow. a lot of money for people out there. All right, and it looks like we are getting into it. I love the calm before the storm. <laughs> Well, Meso Perch is a 10-minute game with 45 plays for each player, so you got to hit that play button as much as possible. And there's 50 winners this game, I, I'm pretty sure at least. I believe so too, and already we have Carry out at Eastside Bar with 200 points, first place. We've also got Keeves playing out there. Keeves is on the top 25, I want to say. Looks like Touchdown's down in the lead with uh, 2,910 points at Corner Pocket. Keep it going, Touchdown. Score a bunch extra. Is his name touchdown because he scores so fast? I, bl I hope so. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it is not. Didn't even use a football avatar, is what oh. Mason says. Oh no! Come on, man. This isn't touchdown's first time playing with us, though. It looks like they started playing with us about last week. Oh wow! Well, thanks for coming back, touchdown. Yeah, welcome See you back. in football season. Oh, right. we have a Jetson with us, uh, Judy Jetson. I'm pretty sure she's from an old cartoon called The Jetsons. I am 22. <laughs> uh, so K-Gal in fourth place was actually a winner of Winter Wonderland a couple of weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, welcome back, K-Gal. Good luck. Hopefully you do really well this game, too. Yeah, I'd like to see you win again. We got Sally in second place up at uh, Stockton Valley Saloon. Ever been over there, tr Alex? No. No? No. Neither have I. I wish over there in ninth place from uh, Bolo City. Velocity. Velocity. Like velocity. Velocity. Oh, look at that, Sally! As soon as I said your name, you pop up the first. Looks like I'm good luck, and I'm going to be the next one out the door with Tristan. <laughs> no, no, we don't know who Tristan. Is. Tristan is apparently bad luck. And there's Denise taking first place out at the Brickyard Bar and Grill in Clear Lake. Congratulations, Denise. Oh, Mean Jean is in sixth place. She was actually playing uh, in Mic Mega Bar Bingo with us. Oh, wow. Welcome yeah. back. Nice to see you. Yep. Bubba. Bubba now at uh, Velocity taking it up first place. Looks like we just say a name and they just pop at the first. So we're going to uh, keep quiet so that everybody has a fair chance. Well, I do have to say Blue Beast in eighth place is actually second in the state right now when it comes to our PGL. So congratulations, Blue Beast. And Mom Hee was scrolling by. Uh, in 25th place, she is currently third in the state. Oh, wow. Yeah. It looks like Mom Hiha won a one Winter Wonderland a couple weeks ago. Good luck in this one. To see you win again. Let's see. Bubba still up there in first place. Nobody touching him. I think that touchdown probably had a couple, you know, penalties and stuff. No, that's that the one that they kicked the ball in the goal, right? I think so. That's right. That's a few different sports. Uh, they have the puck and everything. <laughs> Don Ahu in second place. Uh, Don Ahu is actually a longtime player with us, too. Oh, wow. Welcome back. Uh, TKO 1969. I don't know if there was some type of technical knockout <laughs> that year, but I kind of want to know now, and I will find <laughs> out. Don Ahu. Yep, I, Don Ahu in Don second place. Ahu, second place. I have no idea... Who Don is? I don't know a Don, except for Don Wazi over there in seventh place, just down the road. That worked out incredibly by accident. Yes, it did. Don A. Who in second, Denise in third, Jameson in fourth, and Mean Gene holding on to fifth. My favorite skit uh, on Comedy Central's Key and Peele would call that D-Nice, though. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Still Don A. Who in first place at the Pondy now. We got, we got Barbie in 42nd at Bees Around the Bar. Welcome back, Barbie. 
I think Barbie was actually playing uh, Mega Bar Bingo also. I think I saw. Oh, it was, oh, a, it was different a different Barbie. Barbie. Confirmed different Barbie from Mason. There's a bug named Barbie, apparently. Okay. Oh, we did not know that. We are getting some interesting facts back there that I hope are real. We got <laughs> Marianne in first place at Wyatt's Twisted Americana up at uh, Egan, you know. Have you been there, Alex? No. I have not been to many of these places. I am I am new to being allowed to do any of that stuff speaking, as of one year ago. Speaking of new, it's actually Marianne's first night playing with us, it looks like. Wow, that is incredibly lucky. Good luck. We hope you win. Ooh, Uncle Frank joining in, wishing No Show a happy birthday. Bet they wish they, they were both in Vegas right now. Because I hear that story a lot, but have never been yes. told in person. I bet I will. Yeah. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll both go to Vegas one day. Who knows? For PCS. The last time I was in Vegas, I was seven, and I could not gamble. Oh, so Hazi 52 in sixth place was a coverall winner yesterday. Congratulations, oh, wow. Hazi. Uh, welcome back to Mega. Or I almost said Mega Bar Bingo to Mega <laughs> Wednesday. You know they're pretty much the same. You know they're just as equally fun. That's right. They are equally as fun. And a tater tot in 61st place, and I didn't know food could play on an iPad. Yes, well, jalapeno. Yeah, jalapeno was doing really well earlier. I am just full of amazement. <laughs> Don Dart in 8th place joining the leaderboard. And it looks like Jameson is all out of their place, as well as Marianne, who is in first. Carrie isn't that far behind Marianne. That is incredibly ironic. <laughs> Wild Boy joining the leaderboard in ninth place, but all out of place, it looks like. Oh, no. Well, hopefully for you, nobody else gets in front of you, so you can still get that prize. Let's see We have Buckaroo in 69th place, who was a winner of Winter Wonderland earlier on in the month. So good luck, Buckaroo. That we've was got, the We've got Pizza, not Pizza, but Pizza playing also in sixth place. I kind of want Pizza to be a name now. <laughs> One, because I'm hungry. Two, I am very interested in food playing. Not playing with my food, though. Donna who in sixth, Josie in seventh, Pisa in eighth. Oh, uh, I'm being told that we had a player corn dog who is not with us at the moment. That's right. And not Mason, meaning they died. We, they are Mason just, not right just here. said, "Excuse me, I'm drooling a lot," and, and put his headset down. So then he apparently said he likes corn dogs. Yeah, he said something about getting us food, and that uh, he promised to show us proof by like handing it to us, like you yeah. know, and like. 20 minutes or something. Yeah. I have just a time that he made up. <laughs> we have uh, Marianne still in first place. Not by two. Oh. Taking over is Pearly from Commander Bar. 17,000. So we had Doa in 75th place, who was a high low winner like yesterday. So. Welcome back, Doa. Place Apparently third. placing third yesterday in high-low. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, Bryzo is apparently in 86. They are currently seventh in the state trying to get some PGL points. Wow. But yeah, uh, we do have games every day now. Uh, yeah. Mega Bar Bingo. You can play bingo at lunch, and then you can also play it at the happy hour. At, ha at happy hour. You know, it's just 25 cents a card, and you know, last week we had to get rid of somebody here because we were giving away, too, he was giving away too much money. That's Whenever right. he was on, we had to give away jackpots, so you That's know, right. that might just be you, and then we'll fire that employee quickly after. <laughs> That's right. We also uh, still do Mega Soda, or yeah, Mega Soda Game Night, and of course, as you all know, we're doing Mega Wednesday tonight also. So there are a ton of games for you to get into, a ton of tournaments. Uh, if, you, if you're if you just, like, sitting down at lunch and you're like, I want some pilot action, go to your local bar and play. 
do not drink and then go in an airplane. Like that, that is not what that means. Unless you're a pilot. You know, it's okay if you're not a pilot. And Well, uh, if you're not a pilot, especially don't try to fly an airplane. Yeah. If, drunk or not. Less than a minute left uh, for our first game of the night, Meso Perch. Nix is going to be easy money starting at 657. Yes. Going to be another 45 play game, 10 minutes with 50 winners. Oh, yeah. Well, there's plenty of opportunity to win the night. That's right. And it looks like everyone in the leaderboard has finished up all their plays. Probably everyone else is starting to finish up now, too. Oh, Bubba in eighth with the play left. Bubba, you've got less than 20 seconds. You definitely want to use that play before it's all done. Just looking for just the right <laughs> point to hit it. I yeah, think it's Curly in the lead looking to oh, there possibly we go. secure this. Bubba jumping Ooh. from eighth to fifth place with one play, wow. specifically the last play. Congratulations, Bubba. Not bad. Yeah, pulling a seahorse, I just heard. <laughs> but that is going to be it, it looks like. Let's, uh, let's, uh, Oh, so, excuse me. Yeah, we're waiting for Mason. He was uh, he's in the back talking about corn dogs again. Something about yeah, it's something along those lines. Yeah. We don't know. All right, it looks like Pearly will be our winner from Commander Bar. Just waiting for it to be confirmed. There <laughs> we go, Pearly. Congratulations. Uh, one hundred fifty-five dollars for first place. That's not that's not a bad win at all. You know, I would say that's rather good. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very happy myself. With oh that. yeah. But that's going to be it for this game. We will see you guys in just a couple of minutes for easy money. See you in a sec.
Alright, welcome back to Mega Wednesday, everybody. We're about to get started with Easy Money, our second game of the night. Uh, there will be 50 winners at $5 a piece. So, there's a lot of people available for these winnings, so come on, join us. You have 30 seconds left. That's right. There's going to be 45 different plays for each player, and it's going to last about 10 minutes. Just about 10 minutes. Not exactly 10 yeah. minutes. Don't time us. But if everyone does finish up early, the game does end early. So, let's see what happens. I don't think we've ever had a game end early. I mean, I, how it never I feels like it. How would I know? I'm intern Alex. I uh, haven't been around for much, for very long. <laughs> and if we get a jackpot tonight, uh, Alex will not be here tomorrow. That's right. This is the common theme of people working here. <laughs> so, we will get right on into it. In first place is no player. In second place is uh, no player. Uh, third place, uh, no player. Yeah. Mason in the back apparently saying, please let there be a jackpot. Mason back there saying no player played with us every single week at the beginning. Keeves, Keeves showing up. Uh, Keeves also on the lead. Oh, yeah. Where was Keeves? Oh, and Marky Mark. Yeah. Ooh, no, no show, show in first. With the no, birthday cake. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, so oh, it is no show's birthday we found out. Uh, happy birthday again, No Show. He is 1,110 years old, just like his points. Wow. <laughs> TKO, 1969, taking first from No Show. Cinderloo in second. Um, Nibs in third. Wild Boy in fourth. And somebody else in fifth. I just missed their name. Oh, Cario taking first place at Pappy's Cafe 2. <laughs> I don't know if Pappy's Cafe 1 is a thing. <laughs> Uh, Pickle apparently playing with us earlier today, oh. too. Oh, and already just like that, Mitchie Poo in first place, Red Rooster Bar and Grill out in Ginola, Ginola or Ginola. It might be one of those two. I still could be wrong. <laughs> uh, Tucker 55 in sixth, Slick in seventh, Rand in eighth, and Terry 1 in ninth. I'm wondering where No Show went. I don't I'm, know I'm where Terry 2 went. I'm hoping his birthday cake will oh. give him, like, a little bit <laughs> Pickle 4 in second place, Carry O. Previous first place in third, uh, Jules in fourth, and Cinderlu is in fifth. Is that a five? That was a five. Oh, Mean Gene in sixth. Mean Gene, a returning player from Mega Bar Bingo tonight. All right. And as it stands, Tater Tot now in third from Mills Lodge, who is another food. We already mentioned earlier today. Yes. You are making us very hungry. Stop it. Uh, we have, uh, so Mean Gene was playing earlier today. I think Tater Tot was actually playing Mega Bar Bingo yesterday, too. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for seeing us out at different times. We appreciate it. I mean, why would you not play Bar Bingo? It's 25 cents a card. You can get up to five, like way more than 5,000 even sometimes. I think the jackpot's at 8,500 right now. That's right. Join us every single day, except for the weekends, two times. Get that. At Hoax in first place from uh, Neighborhood Tavern. I don't know, Good luck, Hoax, at staying in first. Tara on the leaderboard is a new player. Welcome, Tara. Good luck. We have Mitchy Poo taking over first again, something he is already used to doing this game. We'll see what happens. It might be a flip flow at, or flip flop at the top. Did you just make that up? No. Tony says it. I think Alex is cheating from Tony. <laughs> Bubba taking first place. Bubba was actually on the leaderboard quite a bit last game. Welcome back, Bubba. Uh, already used to the first place spot, it looks like. Uh, Tara still up there, the new player. Good luck. Me and Gene following. Then Cario and Slick in ninth. Got to get, looks like, around 7,000 to be on this leaderboard. Good uh, luck to everybody, though. Margen, actually, in fourth place at the Red Goat in Watkins. A new player to the leaderboard. Welcome, Margen, from nowhere. Uh, <laughs> must have been a really good play. Wow. Uh, Mitchie Poo taking over first again. He does not like being out of the limelight. I, I think it's called a flip-flop at the top. It is not when I am here. Okay. in 41st place. We see you down there, Mr. Just Mr. Senior Taco. And another person trying to make me hungry. Uh, Bubba taking first place back out at Velocity. I promise I won't get hungry no matter how many of you put food names at the top. I will never eat again. <laughs> right, Bubba looks like he just scored big. I think I saw 
pretty big jump in the numbers there. He's up at 1,400 now. By about 1,000 points. Oh, oh. yeah, there's another, uh, another? 1,000 no. points for Bubba. Oh, my gosh. He's just flexing on everybody. And it looks like Mean Gene, Terra, and Marco all have used up their plays. It's still really early in the game, so we may not see them on the leaderboard. But remember, there are still 50 winners this game. So as long as you are in the top 50, you're going to pay out. We have a team in fifth place right there, and I didn't know you were allowed to play with the people that you call when you have a problem. <laughs> Mason thinks it's the Ghostbusters. I was sure of myself before. Is it the Blues Brothers? It is not the Blues Brothers, but they will the be Blues at Brothers. uh at PyCon. I, yeah. So maybe we call them when we have a problem. I don't know. I usually call them a plumber, my dad. Not I have normal kind. college problems. Not the kind he needs the Blues Brothers for. But we need the Blues Brothers now. Please. Bubba taking first place back. And it looks like holding on to it for a little bit. Don in second. Michi Poo in third. Hoax in fourth. And Marjen in fifth. Bubba oh. has been playing with us for quite a bit of time. Now. I was just about to say that. It's weird. How did you know I was going to say that? I think that I am just better than you, so I started saying it for you. <laughs> Don Dart in 8th plays a new player to the leaderboard, but it looks like using up the last of their plays to get there. Uh, still looks like the leaderboard's staying kind of still right now. Uh, but we still have everyone in the top 5 with plays left. A team falling to 7th place as Cario moves up, and Ginger jumping on the leaderboard with a few plays left too, out at Smiley's Tavern. We actually... Uh, Ginger apparently a top angler two weeks ago. We also saw Ginger playing earlier today uh, for Mega Bar yeah. Bingo. Welcome back, Ginger. Oh, Don taking over first place from EJ's Bottle Shop and Bar over in what is another state. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really curious. Like, do they just sell bottles there? Like, I, I know they're a bar, but, like, what kind of bottles? Are they antique bottles? You put ships in the bottles? No, I, I mean like old bottles that were made forever ago. Hey, you can put old, you can put ships in an old bottle. That's true. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. It looks like Terry One Ginger and A Team in seventh, eighth, and ninth have used up all their plays. Cario in sixth with one play left, uh, and Mitchie Poo in third place with all their plays left or all their plays used. Oh, Dale apparently scrolling by in seventy fifth. Don't we work with the Dale? We do work with the Dale. Oh, okay. We also used to work with the Tristan. Keeves uh, in ninth place, doing real well. Uh, Keeves currently 20th in the state. Don still holding on to first place at 1,800, almost 1,900 points. He's trying to secure his win here within the next three minutes. Every play's got to be gone. But it looks like Don has used up all their plays. You can tell by Ooh. looking at the yellow bar on the bottom of each player name. Uh, and then we have Easy Money actually playing in eighth place. Easy Money, this is your game. You got this. And a returning player, too, apparently. Can you, do you, should you automatically win if your name is the game itself? I feel like you, it's no. literally the name of the game. But, oh, they played second in Winter Wonderland two weeks ago. That is ironic. But uh, Bubba, less than 500 points away from Don. Let's see if Don can hold on. Forget you, D, in fifth place. Forget you, D, a familiar face also that we've seen. I, have a f I don't know who D is, but it's going to be hard to forget her if that's your name. Uh, forget you, D, a smallmouth winner last week. Well, must have some good luck with it. But Marjan moving to six, and I think it was Dario in ninth. You think that Bubba's oh, no. going to catch Buckaroo. Don over here? <laughs> enabler in 92nd again. Oh, that enabler. I don't know what you're an enabling. But be responsible. Oh, okay. So we're, we're oh, getting it's a different easy money. This may be a different easy money. It's an imposter easy money. Uh, Bubba moving up to first place, beating out Don with just a couple of plays left. Yeah. Don in second, Hoax in third, Marjan in fourth, and Michi Poo in fifth. All right. Don looking very, very secure up there. He's still got, was that one play left? Couple no, Don was all done. Oh, sorry, Bubba. Bubba, oh, yes. Yeah, Bubba looks like they have a play left with less than a minute left. 
Pokes and Margin uh, in third and fourth place, both with one play left. We have a touchdown at 102nd. It is because this is not football season. There are no hockey pucks allowed in easy money. See, if they, if it was football, though, you would have gotten a touchdown because that's more than 100 yards. Hey. Alex will be replaced next <laughs> segment uh, by Jared. Jared? Because of that awful joke. Okay. Bubba still with a play left. Bubba, I don't know what you're holding on to, but if you're dancing... Now might be the time to stop and hit that play button. Oh, it's not over until it is over. That's right. There we go. Bubba moving up 100 points. I think securing first place spot with that. Three seconds left unless somebody gets a massive play. That would be pretty big. That'd be a... It looks like they'd have to jump by... Everybody else in the leaderboard is done, so it'd have to be, you know, 7,000 points at least. And we're waiting for it. Just to make sure. Liver in 113th place, a Mega Bar uh, bingo player with us earlier today. In terms of healthy organs, that's about right. <laughs> Bubba at Velocity, Rochester, $79 for the winner. Congratulations, Bubba. We will be back in a few minutes with Jackpot Jungle. That's right.
Alright everybody, welcome back to Mega Wednesday. We are here playing Jackpot Jungle. It'll get started here in about 40 seconds. And it uh, looks like there's a possible jackpot here of uh, $2,100. Total prizes being 2700 and climbing. That's right. So, a lot of money available right now. Um, I, I, Someone's I mean, got to win it. Look, if somebody hits a jackpot, that's fine. I, I, intern Alex just won't be here anymore, I've been told. Well, intern Alex was supposed to be gone, but I learned I'm not allowed to fire anybody. We Okay, we just couldn't find Jared. That's all there is to it. Alex took care of him. Three seconds left until the game starts. Remember, after with uh, with our bingo games, you've got to hit the play button after uh, you go into them. All right, looks like we are in play. And my favorite player, no player, out at Barney Man City. I hit the wrong thing. No, you hit the right thing. You're good. Everything's fine. See, you're on the right thing. Now, we are on the right thing. I forgot that this was bingo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the calm before the storm is up with the All camera. Right. B9. Uh, you want to change the cover off. Oh, yeah. My bad. B9. Doctor's orders. N40. Naughty 40. Alright, just a second, guys. We're, trying gonna, to figure this we're out. going to fix our camera here in just a second. There we go. Oh, 69. Either way up. We have a lot of people at three balls away. That's right. And 41. Time for fun. Oh, there's Senior Taco. Sorry, you could not get the tilde over the end. I apologize. Senior Taco B back in six. Balls away. Tom Mix. We have 250 cards, two balls away. That's a lot of cards. That is plenty of cards. B12, one dozen. 350 cards, two balls away. I24, two dozen. Okay. We got Far Cards, one ball away. Maya Pro, one. LNT, Char Bear, and Joe Winner, one ball away. B3, cup of tea. 21 cards, one ball away. Well, luck A, one ball away. Oh, luck Common A. Name. Oh, 62, turn on the screw. Are you ready with your sound effects? I am not ready with my sound effects. <laughs> now I am. I, 19, uh, goodbye teams. We have 55 cards just kissing the win on this for $79. It's that easy. Just go and grab it. 
I-18 coming of age. We have wow. 86 of you at one ball away. Come on, guys. Stop joking around. Just get it. N36, three dozen. 113. You guys are just screwing with us at this point. There we go. Bingo! Wendy girl. How is it just her? It's just Wendy girl. Congratulations, <laughs> Wendy girl, on taking home $79 on that line win. We have 10 cards at six balls away. So we're not going to see their names until they're five balls away, but it sounds like they're already close. I'll tell you what, you guys are just... Too many of you are just like, I'm just going to get it last second. Then Wendy Girl's like, well, I'm just going to go take it. V2, one little duck. <laughs> My favorite name in the world, Meme, is in first place. I didn't have a favorite player until just now. G58, make them wait. Oh, crickets. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we have G52, <laughs> Danny LaRue. Seven cards, five balls away, and I miss Danny, personally. <laughs> G50, Half a century. Ten cards, five balls away. One of them being meme. Drew got really excited when he saw meme. It threw everything off. I, I don't even care oh, about the game 68, anymore. saving grace. Two cards, four balls away. I am very upset because meme is no longer in the top running. But I am very happy for those that are. I-30, uh, dirty, dirty. Three cards, four balls away. Blue Beast, five balls away. Currently second in state. B15, young and keen. We have five cards at four balls oh, away. There's Mean, mean Jean, Jean, four balls away already. Wonder if she's actually mean. I25, duck and dive. Probably not. Ten cards at four balls away. Over 50 cards, five balls away. Go Mary, four balls away. I23 cards, B and, or I23, V and me. We are at 12 cards, four balls away. Oh, 61, uh, Baker's Bun. We have five cards at three balls away. There's Senior Taco again. B11, Legs 11. Senior Taco trying to make me hungry. One card at two balls away. Looks like now there's two. John and Mean Gene up in the front running. I-20, one score. Still two cards, two balls away. I-28, overweight. We don't have a sound for that. No. I don't know how you sound that out. I-21, uh, key of the door. Still no change at two cards, two balls away. Me and Gene and John. I-17, dancing queen. Still just me and Gene and John up there in the front. N43, down on your knees. We have nine cards at three balls away. And one of them is mean. Think. I-27, <laughs> gateway to heaven. Thank God. <laughs> no change at uh, two guards, two balls away. V7, lucky seven. Now we have three cards at two balls away. N33, Dirty Me. 14 cards at three balls away and three cards at two balls away. O64, Red Raw. Now we're at seven cards, two balls away. We're climbing up there for that $79 M. Ooh. N42, Winnie the Pooh. Apparently Luck A is at uh, four balls away. Winner of last season, if I'm correct. Yes. Uh, double winner, actually. Double winner, first two times. N44, Droopy Drawers. We're at seven cards, two balls away, still. G54, Clean the Floor. We are at nine cards at two balls away. N35, Jump and Drive. There's still no change on the leaderboard, but I would not jump, jump and drive at the same time. Jump and jive. Jump and, I don't know what that is. N45, halfway there. Mason saying he would also not jump and drive at the same time. Oh, 72, six dozen. Oh, here at two cards and one ball away, we have John from American Legion and Pearly at Commander's Bar. 
Pearly already winner. And there we go. Pearly getting Just that and Pearly. pattern. Congratulations, Congratulations, Pearly. On your free dinner. And it looks like we have already players five balls away. Four cards at five balls away. We got Suns, Mayor, Hosey, and Donahue. G59, right in line. Hosey, 92, four balls away. 13 balls to get that uh, cover all jackpot. O66, clickety click. <laughs> Two cards at four balls away. We got. See right here, I Von K joining Hazi and Sally joining them. I-26, pick and mix. Still three cards, four balls away. N-31, get up and run. It's too late to get up and run, but we have six cards at four balls away. Luck A joining four balls away. Uh, N-32, buckle my shoes. Twelve cards at four balls away, and I don't buckle my shoes. I Velcro them. There you go. Close enough. B10, Teresa's Den. 14 cards at four balls away. G49, PC. Three cards, three balls away. I'm hoping to see meme up here on the leaderboard sometime again. B14, uh, Valentine's Day. Six cards at three balls away. Looking for a winner. By 52, I think that it can happen. 075, oh, oh, strive and strive. Yeah, it's 54. I was thinking it was lunchtime. G48, four dozen. Senior Taco has made Senior you so Taco hungry. is, uh, dang it, Senior Taco. He's already, he's like, it must be lunch because of Senior Taco. 071, oh, bang on the drum. Looks like every, two cards of two balls away, you have three chances to win this jackpot. B1, Kelly's Eye. Four cards, two balls away. You have to get both these next numbers if you want any chance of this jackpot. O oh, seventy, three score and 10. Eight cards, two balls away. It looks like we're not gonna hit this jackpot no winner, this time, but no, that'll roll over. Yeah, that's right, no progressive winner tonight. Uh, I-16, sweet 16. We have just been Stadium Sports Bar at one ball away, kissing the win on this one. And we're going to see that price drop, but it goes down to 119. That's still That's not still bad. Take you on a nice date. 65 cents a card. 063. Uh, tickle me 63. I will not. B4. Knock at the door. Looks like three cards, one ball away now. Keep that sitting there. 067. Made okay. in heaven. Four cards, one ball away. We got uh, Big Wally, Brianna, LNT, and Finn. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Bingo. Brianna. And she just came and it stole looks it. like Brianna all, all herself. by herself. Congratulations, Brianna, out at Old no Northrop Bar. Uh, that's a pretty decent win. That is. I would say it's a pretty decent win myself, you know? Yeah. And uh, that, that can, you know, buy you dinner, nice date, just for, you know, whatever you do, whatever you want with that money. It's yours. That's right. And up next is going to be Blingo Bingo, another uh, flash, ooh, excuse me, another flash bingo game. And we'll be right back with that.
Welcome back to Mega Wednesday. We are here about ready to play Blingo Bingo. And I think Alex just poured water all over himself. I did. That's right. It was uh, it was great. I loved it. And he definitely told me to talk about it. Yes. Total prizes but. for this next round being $782. Looks like 20 winners. Uh, yeah, 20 winners on this. It's still another 45 game uh, tournament. So basically you have 45 plays. Make sure to use all of those plays. You never know which one is going to be a big winner. Absolutely. You do not want to miss out on any of the opportunities to win. Because there's plenty of winners on this game. <laughs> That's right. And with that, we are off to the races. All right, so 10-minute game. Uh, you're going to see players' names start to show up here in just a couple of seconds. Ooh, we have Crystal197 at Surf Bard. Bar and Grill in first place with 2,100 points. Sarah Honey in second is actually uh, the top fifth player for PGL right now, so welcome to the leaderboard, Sarah. Way to take opportunities to earn your points. That's right. Uh, it looks like M. Paul in sixth, Carrie in seventh, Cake Al in eighth, and Paisley in ninth. We've seen Cake Al a lot today. I actually, yeah, I definitely remember seeing that. Steve taking first place out at Shady's Railside uh, with 9,000 points, a huge play. Uh, Crystal in second, Sarah Honey in third, and Cake Al moving up to fourth. We have Carrie in sixth place, Cake Al still in seventh, Jameson and Sons in ninth. All there with 2,000 points to be on the leaderboard. That's right. Uh, and let's see here. It looks like fifth th or sixth through tenth place is going to get $18, but first place gets a whopping $231, then $92 for second place. So this is the game where you definitely want yeah. to get first place tell you what my best strategy for this hit the pull button repeatedly yes yeah hit hit the play button a lot play button there you go <laughs> it's a button it's big it's there you see it you know what i'm That's talking right. about we have no show whose birthday it is over in trails grill hey, no place. show happy birthday again hopefully you're getting some birthday luck here that's actually really good for a birthday. That, that, that I works. just saw it. That works. Steve still in first though with over 9,000 points. Sons in six. Um, Biscotta in seven. <laughs> Sherry in eighth. That is the second most complicated name you've had to say today. Yes, it is. I don't remember the first. It was, uh, it was bad though. Yeah, I can't remember it anymore either. JD though in second. And Joe Harley jumping on the leaderboard in third. It's like a nightmare. Oh, we have CSI taking over first place from Old Town Tavern at 10,570 points. Tons of points. Welcome to the leaderboard, CSI from nowhere, it looks like. They're looking to take away that first place prize. Yeah. I mean, especially since ninth place right now is about 5,000 points. That was over 6,000 points they need to get in one play. That's pretty good. Yeah. Steve still in second, though. Dennis in third. Oh, and never mind. Steve, Steve. is back in first. We have had this curse tonight where we <laughs> say a name and they come into first place. So, me, 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 me. <laughs> Joe Winner in sixth, though, joining the leaderboard. And JAD joining the leaderboard. <laughs> MJ Good, 1969, joining the leaderboard in I, first place at HR Pistons. We definitely have not said that one tonight, so no, maybe no. I was completely wrong, and that had nothing to do with it. Well, we don't know who... Uh, <laughs> oh, Wyatt at whoa. Colonial Lanes in first place now at 13,830 points. Tons of changes. Oh, my. Uh, I, and we also have Avatar joining the leaderboard, and then I think it was Ada down at the bottom with almost no plays used, but an eighth place, which is a really good I place to be. I think that what they want to do is kind of come out like, you know, uh, yeah. the Hunger Games, just kind of be like way out on the sideline and just kind of take your opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve taking first place back again. We have a ton of movement on the leaderboard. CSI down to sixth place after being in first place. Ooh. MJ Good taking first. <laughs> right back at it. Everybody's fighting for this $231 first place prize. Steve not even falling to second. He's falling to third. Wyatt taking second place, which means Wyatt is going to take first next play. <laughs> you know, we're just going to sit back, and next time we'll bring popcorn <laughs> when we play Blingo Bingo. That's right. It, it looks like a bloodbath out there. Uh, let's see. Wyatt finally holding on to first place for longer than one turn. Uh, MJ Good in second place. Tina E joined the leaderboard in third place with a ton of plays left and only 14,000 points. Tina E having a very good chance of getting first, but there's Steve taking first place we back. We also have Jeffy in sixth place with not that many plays, and CSI is only done with not even half. Uh, yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of people positioning themselves for a uh, really strong push. MJ Good in third place, already done with all their plays. Let's see what happens with MJ, but Wyatt moving up to second place again. 
and Steve holding on to first. Jeffy in sixth, CSI in seventh, Avatar in eighth, and Carrie in ninth. Let's see. I think Jeffy and CSI are going to make a push. I am super excited to see this fight at the top again <laughs> at the last second. And there's Tina E moving up to fourth place with more than half her place left. Congratulations, Tina E. I think you're in a really good spot right now. You're definitely not in a bad one. That's right. Unless Dennis, you don't hit the button. Dennis jumping up onto the leaderboard from nowhere, actually, if you take a look at that. I do see that, but yeah. it looks like Dennis is all out of plays, Using all the plays, yeah. But that's still on the leaderboard, which is something. That's right. Uh, Jeffy moving up to fourth place. Tina East in fifth place. It looks like Steve is holding on to a few plays, though. I, I think Steve is being Steve careful. Steve is trying to be that snake in the grass. <laughs> Even though he's in first place, he's the King Cobra in the middle of the field. That's, that's trying a good to be analogy. Sneaky. That's huh? a very good analogy. And then when you least expect it, he, like, you know, does the, the <laughs> thing. And little does he know, everybody is trying to come after him. <laughs> Jeffy moving up to third place, though, as MJ Good falls fourth. Tina E still in fifth, taking her time. CSI in sixth place with uh, about... I want to say quarter of their plays left. That's what it looks like. Looks about a quarter. I, yeah. I would give that a third or a quarter. That's yeah. a good. That's a good spot. Oh, Steve just Steve using one play. Using the still. A play, just kind of testing the waters. Uh, speaking of waters, we still have fishing derby uh, left over. Oh so my gosh, that is, is everybody's derby. favorite, where you get to choose who you're fishing with, the that's lure, right. and where you're at. So. Really, it's kind of up to you if you win or not. That's right. And JD moving up to eighth place now, jumping back on the leaderboard with half their plays used. Steve starting to play again, it looks like, as <laughs> Jeffy moves up into second place, less than, oh, just actually 115 points exactly behind Steve. Let me just set the scene for you right now. Steve is, oh, never mind. I didn't get to set the scene. <laughs> no, no more scene setting. <laughs> Jeffy said, no, I'm done with that. I'm taking first place. JD still in eighth place, moving up slowly. Uh, and let's see where Tina E is at. Tina E in fourth place. CSI jumping all the way up to third place as Steve falls to second with only a couple of plays left and about 400 points behind Jeffy. Jeff using another play up there. That's right. We can see an inch forward. JD slowly moving up still in eighth place. About 2,000 points behind or between JD and Dennis. JD really wants to get into the top five, though. That's where the money is different. Everybody's trying to grab this $231 first place prize. It looks like uh, CSI using up the last of their plays, too. So it looks like CSI will not be winning. They will not be the one that is the, the King Cobra. Place. Yes, that's right. Now we need a game with King It'll Cobra. Be like a gardener snake. <laughs> Jeffy's King still tiny. in first place for now. Oh, yeah, it looks like Jeffy and Steve still in first and second. Uh, Tina E with less than 100 points now separating CSI and Tina E. This is, I, I don't know what to say. I'm running out of adjectives. Oh, there's Teresa jumping on the leaderboard. Teresa wants some of this now, too. Adjectives. Like, Thank you. Like words that describe a noun. Yes, this exactly. Is, this is grammar. Jeffy, though, still holding on. I, it looks like Jeffy hasn't made any plays. Steve is holding on to their place. Tina E, though, All right, let me set the scene. Yeah, Jeff, Jeffy, American Legion Fridley, he, he knows he's in the lead, okay? He knows he's there. He's like, you know what? I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get another beer, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm just going to, you know, let these people think that they have a chance of catching up to me, okay? That's what he's doing right now. It's Except so nice he's getting a little cocky, though. Tina still has more plays left, and she's just behind him. Tina actually jumping up above Steve with a few plays left. And it looks like somebody else jumped on the leaderboard while we were setting the scene. <laughs> JD still in eighth place, struggling to get past MJ Good and Wyatt. But, I mean, that, that gap keeps growing, too. Uh, looks like 30 points between Jeffy and Tina E right now. Uh, Steve holding on to his last play. And Jerry jumping on the leaderboard. Jerry with 16,000 points. Uh, in for some decent money. And there's Ooh. Tina E. And that is Tina just sneaking <laughs> up through the ranks, just playing when she knows it is right to play. That's actually about a $100 difference between first and second place. So Tina E currently about 500 points ahead of Jeffy and close to $140 ahead of Jeffy too. So if you My really want to get some, some big money in Blingo Bingo, you want to go for first place. Uh, it looks like JD moving up to seventh place. They're actually really close to getting yeah. into fifth. Sneaking their way in there. This is uh, just a game of snakes. CSI falling to fifth place. Jerry in fourth, quickly moving up the leaderboard. Steve using all of his plays. And Jeffy still behind Tina E. 
It looks like Tina E using her last play. Oh. Seems to be a common theme. If you have a J in your name, you are likely on the leaderboard right and, now. And I don't true. know that. And JD actually is about 100 points behind CSI. Let's see if they get fifth. Oh, I He's don't think so. He's at it. Jerry with about one or two plays left over there at Vix Bar and Grill. Less than 30 yeah. seconds left. Yeah, one play left. It, that's all you need. JD's still holding on. It's about 900 points between JD and CSI. That is a, I want to say it was $40 difference, that one prize. It's a pretty big one. But it's okay. Even if you're not in the top 10, top 20, you still top get Top 20, stuff. you still you get, get something. That's right. We just like people seeing game. We just like to see people get more as they slowly sneak their way up. Sneaky, sneaky snakes. Uh, looks like JD using their last play and staying in sixth place as the time runs out. That was still an exciting game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready excited. to see and make it official who won this thing. Yes. Who was the King Cobra? I mean, I think I hear Mason um, saying something about corn dogs as he's eating. I don't know what he's doing back there. I think Mason uh, stole our food. But there we go. <laughs> it's official. Tina E won at Titan Sports Saloon. Congratulations, Tina. That was hard fought by everyone, uh, and just a fun game to watch too. I am still shaking. <laughs> But that's going to be it for this game. We will be right back with some fishing derby. See you guys.
welcome back. We are here with our last. Mic closer. Oh wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mega Wednesday for our last game of this week, Fishing Derby. Looks like we're gonna have 25 winners in this one. That's right. Uh, excited. We were so excited last game. It looks like Drew just just got his mic too far away. But uh, that's I okay. I threw my headset, actually, <laughs> yes. right after. I was so upset. Meme is not on the leaderboard. Meme today. wasn't on the leaderboard, but it was fun uh, last game. Let's see what happens with the fishing derby. There is probably going to be a ton of people fishing I bet there. there's people getting fish. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. It's a 15-minute game. There's going to be 25 winners. And remember, the largemouth was swimming out there before this game at over $1,300, and the smallmouth was over $200. So let's see what happens with those jackpots. Looks like we have Fletcher in first place out at Sunset Lanes. 1,150 points is the number to beat right now. And in Fishing Derby, I'm sorry, Fletcher, but that's easy, that's easy oh, to do. Shoot. We got John over there at American Legion Lyle. Ready to just pounce on the opportunity <laughs> to get a bigger fish. Our web in six, Dan in seventh, and I saw Mean Gene and Ape. And there's Pizza, not Pizza. Where's Meme Gene? Uh, I don't know where Meme Gene is, is but we know where Meme Gene is, or at least was. All right. Coley in six, our web falling to seventh, and Coop in eighth. Then we have Barney's in ninth. Isn't there a store called Barney's? No, but there was a show called Barney. There was. Yes, there was a show called Barney. Hey, there's Bryzo. Bryzo currently uh, seventh in the state. I think Bryzo is moving up, though, uh, tonight. And then there's Dale in fourth. Seriously, is is that the Dale we work with? I hope not. Yeah, how did he get from Nevada all the way to Minnesota? You know, I think you just broke a window and just walked in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we T have oh, Tina E, Tina our e. winner from last game. Blingo Bingo joining us back here. Second place at 7,200 points out there at Titan Sports Saloon. I've been there before. You have? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Tina E just crawling up the leaderboard last game. Then we have W.I. Walleye, Greg A. in 7th, Just in in 8th, and A.J. Root in ninth. Uh, it looks like 6th through 10th place going to take home $61. Uh, John still in 1st, though, with over 11,000 points. Let's see how long John can hold on to that. But as you can see, already with one play, Tina E. has fallen down to 6th sixth place sixth now. Place. I think I've seen Tina E. with two different icons already this game. I'm not sure uh, that what happens. is happening. That happens from time to time. Uh, Indie developer. Minnesota Wazi doing real well. I was about to say, isn't Wazi a Muppet? But I think that's Fozzie. Wazi is, I'm I'm 22. Yes. Uh, it looks like first place is didn't go home with $103. Second place is 92. Third, 92. Fourth place is 82. And fifth place is 61. So if you want to get some money, you want to be in the top 10. But the higher up, the better you will do. That's right. This game, there's not as high of a winning amount, but there is a lot more winners. That's right. And Troll 077, or 077, if it's like 007. Double Troll 007. <laughs> was actually playing with us earlier today. There's Bryzo, still in seventh place. Just Inks in eighth, who is actually a regular player with us. And Von K in ninth. I just realized that was one O and two sevens. Yes. O double seven. I, I said it could have been like, oh, Bookum Dano. Okay, you're too young to know this. I mean, I wasn't around when the show was I on, know who Bookum Dano is. Yeah, it's a, it's a catchphrase. I have no idea okay, who Bookum It's Dano a catchphrase. Is. But Bookum Dano in first place out at the Hog's Breath Bar and Restaurant. And uh, we're probably going to get very angry texts from our bosses saying, like, how do you not know what that's from? It is fine. I will be following Tristan <laughs> to our revenge company that we are making called who's, Flylid who's, Bame. Who's Tristan? Troll077, though, in second place. John in third. Uh, it looks like Justin Sue moving up to sixth place. Fletcher showing up from nowhere. Coley uh, in eighth. And Poco, Pocho in you know, ninth. I really got to like the uh, abominable snowman icon with uh, the hog's breath bar. It really has a nice little Canada, too. People, like, you got everything north. People people want to be cold again. It's too warm now. And then you got the troll with that one. Everybody's just doing very, very well with their icon game in the top here, except for John. Oh, I don't there quite is get that. Sarah Honey uh, in ninth place. Sarah Honey currently fifth in the state and probably moving up with these points that she's getting right now. Same that with ranch bar. Uh, <laughs> there's Bryzo in fourth place. Isn't Fletcher that, that one movie Tony is like, this is the best movie ever made in the 80s? You know, I have to tell you something. I actually don't think the 80s were a real year. No, it was a decade. 
I don't think 80s okay. was a real decade. Um, it was made Barney's up. Barney's is still in six. Fletcher in seventh. Justin Sue in eighth. <laughs> the <laughs> 80s weren't a year. Okay. <laughs> Joe Winner out in first place at Falls Bar in Little Falls. Joe Winner currently living up to his name and might be able to hold on to that. He has more than half his plays left in first place. If you want to follow me at 80sdeniers.com. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but. John in sixth place. <laughs> Rizo in seventh. And Troll 077 and 8. And there is GR Joe in first. Oh, Linda Ooh. out on Facebook giving us a like. Thank you, Linda. Thank Hopefully you, you get Linda. a lot of luck while you're playing out there. Plenty of it. Mouse over there in Municipal Liquor Store the center. center. Yes, there you go. And uh, a pig icon with that. Mouse new to the leaderboard. Is Mouse somewhat of a pig? They're both mammals. Yeah. yeah. They both live outside uh, sometimes. Welcome, Dano. Still in second place, but about 7,000 points behind uh, GR Joe. Joe Winner in third. I wonder if GR Joe stands for Grandpa Joe, and he's actually Joe Winner's grandpa. I think it's actually just G.I. Joe, because it's that simple. But it's I don't know anything about okay. that, though. Terry W. in ninth place, new to the leaderboard. Paisley <laughs> jumping up from nowhere. Ooh, cancer uh, sucks in third place. And Cancer sucks from nowhere also in third place. Cancer sucks currently... Uh, it looks like eight on the state leaderboard. Welcome to the leaderboard, Cancer Sucks. Good to see you again. And you are definitely going to be moving up the PGL standings, too. I think I... Uh, apparently, it is Bookham Dano's first night with us. All right, I need to see where Bookham Dano is from. Bookham Dano. He's from the leaderboard. Uh, yes. Cancer Sucks taking over... Go ahead. Know. Cancer Sucks was in third place and now they're just taking over first just like i say the name and it just pops up there it's just so crazy how that happens on accident i but had congratulations an, cancer sucks i had an aha moment book em dano comes from uh hawaii 50 the original one which aired i didn't watch the new a one a while ago my parents watch it which means that it's bo i'm just kidding <laughs> don't your parents are watching don't say that <laughs> cancer sucks still at first though congratulations cancer sucks Coley in 6th, Fletcher in 7th, Terry W in 8th, and Jason in ninth. I'm just kidding. I don't have cable. <laughs> GR Joe in 2nd, Paisley in 3rd, Bookham Dano in 4th, and Coley in 5th. Uh, so I know Mason was saying he was having some trouble with the boat. Do you, do you, do you think Mason might be ready now? Mason, are you are you out on the lake, or is it is it still broken? All right, where are you at, Mason? Uh, how about how about um, the Dockside Bar? Yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. Mason's over at the Dockside Bar. Here is Mason. All right. Oh, yeah, it's just me hanging out at the Dockside Bar. Uh, no one's really here yet. I've just been kind of floating around. I haven't got kicked out yet, so I think that's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, I heard you always got kicked out of that the Tristan side. guy is. Uh, we don't know Tristan. Who is Tristan? What's a Tristan? <laughs> well, they're really wondering to know, but they told me not to bring that Alex guy back. Oh, <laughs> oh. They said, I, no more of that I only guy. got a little. I only got a little drunk. <laughs> That's what you remember. Yeah. You're not allowed to drink. <laughs> not at the dockside bar. Not at the dockside bar. Not anymore, bar. at least. All but right, well, we're going to see you again in a few minutes here, Mason. Uh, we're going to pull it back to, well, everybody, welcome back, Tristan. Sounds good, guys. No, I'm Alex. I can't remember anything. There's Lucay in 82nd. Right, we have Lucky in 82nd place right now. Oh, and Paisley taking first place again out at Trails Grill. Paisley, say hi to Lucky and No Show for us. We have Meme in 83rd, my boy, the legend, the myth, the meme. Oh, wow. GR Joe taking first place back from Paisley, just 20 points ahead of Paisley. Cancer sucks close to them, too. Yeah, we're hearing it's a flip flop at the top. It's not just, uh, it's not just Tony that says that. Flip apparently. flop at the flop. Is what I will say to that. Uh, that is nonsense. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it looks like GR Joe is still in first place. Yep. Don oh. A. I think I. Uh, Don yeah. A. Ho? Yeah, Don A. Ho. So Don A. Oh. Ho is uh, married to Don A. Who. And can I played be Don A. Whom as like a kid? <laughs> yes. Paisley <laughs> taking first place again. Uh, just a few hundred points above GR Joe. And oh, and Cancer, cancer Sucks, sucks moving second. back up. Cancer Sucks saying, you know what? I am going to take first place. 
it looks like our top three players right now all close to the same amount of plays as each other. Even Joe Winner with a ton of plays. But there's GR Joe jumping up to 44,000 points with one play. Jeez, that is a quite, quite the... I don't know what kind of fish you got. I kind of <laughs> want to see it, though. Might be a rainbow it, it trout. It was a big fish. I don't think that trout's actually living this, though. And we keep checking. It doesn't look like anyone's caught a large mouth or a small mouth yet. We will keep you guys updated. Uh, it sounds like Luck Hay in 99th place right now. Luck Hay's got to catch some big fish. That is right. If they want to get up there on the leaderboard, they have to catch one nasty dinner. I don't know, man. I, I'm bad with fishing stuff. He means, like, nasty isn't good, though. Maybe. GR Joe still in first. Paisley in second. Cancer Sucks in third. Doa 52 in fourth. And Joe Winner in fifth. Doa 52 jumping onto the leaderboard from nowhere. Joe Winner falling down to sixth place. P Webb in seventh. Bookham Dano in eighth. And Jason in ninth. That looks like seventh, eighth, and ninth have used up all their plays. We have Blue oh. Beast. On, that is, I believe, on our PGL leaderboard. Yes. I was saying, oh, because Sherry, with her last play, jumped up to second. From oh, nowhere. Wow. Yes. That is crazy. You were so close to first place, though, Sherry. You were only 40 points away. That is why Joe Winner fell a little bit, because Sherry really wanted to shine for a second. I think that what I was in the middle of saying was a uh, blue beast on our yes. PGL leaderboard is in uh, 105th place, trying to snag some points to keep up on that. Yes. Blue beast currently second in the state. Oh, wow. And it looks like GR Joe still holding on to first place. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Just as soon as Alex, the new guy, starts talking. Paisley, Paisley. taking first place with 45,000 points. Uh, it looks like GR Joe is in second. But Paisley is nearly done with all their plays, and there's only 2,000 point difference between him and GR Joe. Cancer Sucks still in fourth place with about 5,000 point difference. That is one fish in this game. That is indeed one fish. One very, very big fish, like <laughs> yes. a shark. And I catch a Hope's megalodon. in eighth place. Oh, I don't know if there's a megalodon in uh, Big In Wampum. the world. No, in Big Wampum specifically. <laughs> or in the world. We will never Sherry's know. Sherry's still in third place. And Doa 52 with one play left in fourth place. Let's see here. It looks like Paisley still with a play left. Joe Winner in sixth with 40,000 points. Remember, to get close to fifth, you have to get to about 41,000. I think I hear Mason saying something about he's got an update for us at... Eagle Island. We're going to take it over to him in a second here. All right, here is Mason. All right, guys. I really think we need to get Tristan back here. <laughs> he was uh, pretty good at keeping these eagles away from me, and I'm running out of this eagle repellent. Should you just buy some more eagle repellent? Yeah, but if we can get Tristan back here to repel the eagles. I don't even know who this Tristan I guy is. Eagle I'm really confused. But what's going on at Eagle Island? Uh, really just me. Uh, not a whole lot here. I think all those eagles chased everyone away. Oh, no. Another reason we need Tristan back. I've got a question. If you didn't want eagles, why'd you go to Eagle Island? You know, I'm just kind of floating where the water takes me. That's uh, a good philosophy. Yeah. I think the oars are broken. Those two. We don't no, have motorized boats? No, not anymore. Oh, those not are illegal yet. out in this lake. Well, no. That's yeah, also a Tristan thing. Yes. We, yeah. don't talk about we that. don't talk about that. It looks like Kimmy joined the leaderboard, uh, but okay. we, we'll go right back. Or I think that's it from you tonight, Mason, right? I think so, yeah. Mason's yeah. on his way out the door with ex-employee Tristan. Going to the dockside bar again? That, nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, cutting Mason off. <laughs> nah. He didn't say anything. On important. stage, we <laughs> got the umbrella hook just pulling him back. <laughs> No large mouth or small mouth jackpot quite yet. Paisley still in first, and it looks like Kimmy, who joined the leaderboard, is in sixth with 42,000 points. GR Joe still in second. Sherry in third. Cancer Sucks in fourth, and Doa 52 in fifth. This is coming down to the wire with almost all the top players with only one play left. We have Hawk Mama in 140th place. Hawk? Hawk? Oh, oh, it was a different, it was a different kind of mama. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Bailey <laughs> still don't in first. GR Joe in second. And Cancer Sucks still in fourth. Sherry in third used up all their plays. And Doa 52 in fifth with all their plays used up. One minute left. So if you have plays, you definitely want to use them. Kimmy in sixth place. Joe Winner in seventh. Rivers with two Vs in eighth. And P Webb in ninth. I think nine. it's Rivers. Rivers? You know, in Spanish, it's actually called double V. Oh, okay. 
That had nothing to do with this. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> but there was a double V. <laughs> Paisley still in first. Those bars have not moved at all. I think everyone is just waiting. Uh, it looks like Joe Winter moving up to sixth place, though, overtaking Kimmy with one play left. You guys, you, if you have that last cast, now's a good time to use them. Oh, there we go. GR Joe moving up to sick, er, second place, and Cancer Sucks moving up to third with Looks their last like plays. Those are stuck in stone where Paisley's still got a play or two left. Oh, and right. Paisley and is out of plays, stuck at 47,700 points, and that's looking pretty good for right now. That's looking good, unless Joe Winner gets a really big fish or Rivers gets a really big fish. Like a really Paisley big fish. Paisley like should be safe. Five seconds left. Let's see what happens. But we think that is it. We'll oh, Joe Winner. Joe didn't use happens. up his last cast. No. Oh, Joe, no, you have Joe. to press the play button. Oh, no. no. It's okay. We all make mistakes, but you still win something. That's right. Well, let's see here. I believe Paisley is going to take home first. We're just waiting for the computer to finish telling us what's going on. And, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Paisley taking home $103. Congratulations, Paisley. Uh, that is it. I... I Mason, do, do you have some information for us? Okay, so we will be back with the PGL leader up, leaderboard update, and uh, Mason may have some information for us in the end, too. All right, hello everyone. It's me, Alex the intern, and Mason. Not true. 
<laughs> not true. We ran into a few technical issues before we could do our update, so we just wanted to make sure we could get Mason over here too. So we actually had a very exciting night. I'm not going to be able to do point totals for everyone, but I can tell you there has been a change up for the PGL League. Oh boy. Uh, that is right. There has been a change in the top three even. I can't wait to hear it. So in first place, playing out at the Red River Event Center with currently 357,000 points is Blue Beast, who did really well today. We saw him on the leaderboard a lot. Uh, in second, it's not Louie. It's Cancer Sucks. Oh, wow. Who moved up from, I want to say, third place also uh, at Clearwater Corners with over 326,000 points. And then in third, we have Louie, who put up a valiant effort, but ended up in third uh, at Osaka Slicker at, with 323,000 points. Sarah Honey moves up from fifth to fourth. Mom Hiha is currently in fifth. And Bryzo moves from seventh to sixth. Eagle Stang falls to 7th place. Lucky jumps up from 12th to 8th place. Wow, big jumps. And then we have Bakes in ninth place and Mazio in 10th. I would like to point out that the birthday boy no-show <laughs> is currently in 12th place, moving up from 17th. And I would like to welcome Kalis, Ryan April, and Boon Me to the leaderboard. But that is it for the PGL leaderboard. Mason, what do you have for us? All right. What a good Mega Wednesday. Starting out the night, we started with Meso Perch, where we had Pearly, Marini, Carrie, TKO, 1969, Bubba, and Jameson as the top five players. Following that by some easy money, where we had Bubba, Don, Hoax, Margen, and Mitchie Poo as our top five players. After that, we had our coverall jackpot jungle game, the 54 ball, where Wendy Girl took home that line win. Pearly, who was a winner in the Meso Perch game, got the lar er, large M. And Brianna taking that coverall, all of them taking them off to themselves. That coverall was not hit within the 54, so it's gonna continue to grow next week, starting at over $2,500. After the coverall game, we had Blingo Bingo, where we had Tina, Jeffy, Steve, Jerry and CSI as our top five players. And finishing up the night with everyone's favorite fishing derby, where we had Paisley, GR Joe, Cancer Sucks, Sherry, and Doa52 as the top anglers tonight. There were no largemouth or smallmouth uh, jackpots caught tonight, so those both will continue to grow next week. Largemouth starting at over $1,500, and the smallmouth starting at over $300. So, starting to be pretty big fish. Yeah, pretty big fish out there. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for us. I mean, do you have anything else you'd like to say? No. No? All right. Well, I'd just like to finish up by saying thank you, everyone, for playing tonight. And remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>